I, in the building. I, I the street the executives. George Technique. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young. You are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis. And since we're airing in Atlanta, Comcast Channel 29, we're about to be the most award-winning talk show in Atlanta as well, Brink TV. Now, to not adjust your TV set, we got a familiar face, but he's new to the Brink TV show. I'm talking about my man, Wesley Jonathan. How you doing, sir? Doing good, Brink. How you doing? Man? Hey, I'm doing excellent. First and foremost, I got to say thank you for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you here, man. Oh, well, thank you for having me, man. It's a pleasure. Most definitely. Now, we got plenty to talk about because, my man, I've been watching you since I was that tall. Absolutely. First time I saw you, my man, was actually on Baywatch. Really? Exactly. Wow. Just, I was 13. Yeah. Yeah. Game banging. You know, a little yeah, something, a little something. Very good. Okay. I'm impressed. All Absolutely. Right, right then we can fast forward a little bit more. I saw you on Sister Sister as well. Yep, yep, uh huh. Yep. And then my favorite, because of course, growing up on Saturday mornings, all we had was cartoons and of course, Saved by the Bell. But following that was City Guys. City Guys. Yes, sir. All your history. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, been following you for a long time. So let's go ahead and get into you as an actor, man. How did you get your start? Um, I was well. I, let's see. At four years old, I started dancing. Okay. Um, impersonating Michael Jackson. Gotcha. Um, I thought I was gonna be. Well, I knew I was gonna be bigger and badder than Michael. So okay. he was a huge influence of where I'm at today. So I started dancing. And I was never shy in front of a crowd or in front of the camera. Although right. talking to me one on one or that would be different right but right once the camera came on then i would come alive so yeah my family knew this i was always performing at family reunions weddings and things like that i had a female cousin who was in the industry her name was crystal crystal genius who's still an actress today okay. she knew where to take uh she asked my mom you know what did she think about putting me in commercials and tv and all that so took me on a few auditions she knew where to where to where to kind of guide me through and then uh, I got signed to an agency at about eight years old. Did my first job on 21 Jump Street. Okay. Uh, for all the youngins out there, not the movie, the yeah. TV show. Absolutely. This is back in the day, a long, long time ago. And uh, from then on, you know, um, when I saw myself on TV for the first time, I went to school the next day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't really, when I was shooting 21 Jump Street, I didn't really realize the severity or the, the weight of what I was doing. Gotcha. I was just really good. I had never acted before. I was just good at taking direction. I wasn't really like an, a normal kid. I, I was already from the very young age thinking about a goal. Gotcha. Um, so I wasn't into, I mean, I was a kid. I played, but I wasn't really in, that wasn't my be all. My end all be all was to be on every billboard every movie every film every i thought i was gonna be a music artist too so okay. anyway uh, when i went to school the next day after the show had aired all my classmates the teachers they were all in an uproar and um that kind of kicked it off man i was through the whole rest of the day i was in the days like i can do this yeah like at yeah. eight so um i watched every movie every film every tv show and study rhythms and comedy beats and things of that nature and just kind of duplicated what i saw added my little you know uh style to it and then i just began to book show after show after right. show after show and then 30 years later here i am yeah and it's funny you said show after show i think i remember you on boy meets world too sir yeah boy meets world we're gonna turn this into a party yeah i see uh, i'm a tv head man yeah, i grew man. up the tv yeah, race that's right that's Most right definitely. real tv sitcoms yeah yeah not reality shows tv man that's a whole <laughs> nother story for a whole nother time so another thing i like to talk about it's kind of like the reason you're here tonight. We're here at Skate Odyssey. Shout out to uh, Scano Productions on there. We're talking about Roll Bounce. Sweetness. Roll Bounce. How did that come about, man? Oh, wow. Um, Roll Bounce is a really, really deep story. I'll, okay. but, I'll, but I'll minimize it. I, mean, I, got a, I got a call okay. to come in and do what is called a table read gotcha. for Roll Bounce. Now, gotcha. this table read is a table read not like, um, the, how can I describe it? 
this is this is where they will usually to to further sell a script mm -hmm. or to make sure it's solidified and it's ready to go and they want to put it up on its feet they'll call a bunch of actors in and we'll sit around a table and no role is assigned no one's gotten a role yet this right. is just reading the script out loud so investors the network or right. such a studio um are able to hear it and really really want to buy into so it. they're almost kind of looking for chemistry as well right no I, I don't i don't even know if they're looking for chemistry okay. i think i think it's just a professional actors okay. reading a script okay. that was written um uh, by norman vance but uh they just wanted to hear it okay but doing so like for instance i went in and read for sweetness right okay but once it was done now they want to make the movie they they no they they're not going to use anybody from the table read they're going to wow. go now finding wow bow wow or finding okay. okay i mean for instance who was reading bow wow's role at the time of the table read was tj yeah. maori okay Okay. You know, Tommy TJ, Taj Maori. Yeah, 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 yeah. So smart guy. Yeah, smart right. guy. So he was reading Xavier Bow Wow's role. Right. Um, was it? I think David Allen Greer was reading for Bow Wow's father. The dad. Yeah. yeah. And Chi so, McBride got that. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shy McBride. Shy McBride. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and people always make the same mistake. <laughs> but these roles, again, like I said, they were they weren't assigned. They weren't in stone for mm -hmm. these people or for myself. Right. So for my role, I had to fight for that role because. Uh, history would put it, you know, they wanted Usher to play Sweetness. Wow. This is a true wow. story. These are things, and if not Usher, I think I heard Omarion. Wow. Um, uh, you're talking about uh, a, a series of, you know, people before me. Now, mind you, they loved me, but it was just like, well, can we get this? Because that's what the business is about, man. It's politics. It's about yeah. the bigger stars, the bigger names, and um, bean counting. It's, it's, it's money. Uh, but I fought. Yeah, uh, I kicked and screamed for the role. Uh, my agency and management didn't know why I wanted it so bad because right. on paper, my role didn't speak. Wow! If you think about it, I didn't talk the whole film until yeah. the end. I mean, it was all about the it was essence. All about the visual it was the essence yeah. exactly. But that's what I saw in him. Right. That when I read it, I, I saw how he should walk, how he should talk, how he should breathe, how yeah. she should move. How, so, um, I was, I was upset to say the least at the dynamic of the fact that i was not really wanted for the role and gotcha. i'll just be real and say that it wasn't the, i wasn't the first pick so when i got it i went above and beyond to I love it. deliver what people see i love it man that's awesome and it's definitely a, a great story a, a moment of inspiration for the people out there and that's the summarized version i got you <laughs> it's even deeper than that hey we go get a we go yeah. get an uncut version maybe later maybe yeah. you got some, some <laughs> in the works we can talk about but let's talk about what you got going on these days brother you i see i think you're doing some directing too aren't you what well you yeah doing? i'm 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 i've always wanted to direct okay. it's just a matter of me procrastinating and actually taking the uh, initiative to do it but okay. um Right now, I'm working on, and I'm not directing this project, okay. by the way. So just let's not get that those that's confused. Gotcha. Uh, who's directing this project that I'm working on is uh, Craig Ross Jr., okay. who's also the writer um, of uh, this new web series or streaming series, I should say, called Monogamy. Ah, gotcha. Um, gotcha. And Monogamy streams on the UMC network, which is uh, uh, Urban Movie Channel, and it stars. Everyone from Brian White, Jill Marie Jones, Christy Ferris, Darius McCrary, Blue Kimball, Vanessa Simmons, myself, uh, Karen Ward. Who am I forgetting? Is that all of us? Is that all? I think I got all of us. If oh, I miss anybody, please forgive me. of Black Hollywood yeah. basically is on this series. All of us. Yeah, okay. I think so, but yeah, it's okay. a great, great story. Yeah. Um, about four marriages, four troubled marriages all sign up to do this odd um, experiment okay um, where we essentially have experimental spouses okay so the desperation in trying to save our marriages we branch out to have experimental spouses to find out to rediscover ourselves or um, find out our, you know more, what, what we need to bring to the, our real relationship and in in the, in the midst of doing that things happen wow so, yeah, it's, it's pretty it. interesting it is, it's 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 pretty cool so we just finished the second season okay first season is out now so you can go to uh umc 
uh, you, you can go to the UMC Instagram at UMC and they'll give you more information on how to subscribe but really really a good project really really um, really strong and and this second season is going to be intense that's dope that's dope so let's talk about you man you got so big man what's going on you used to be my size man what happened you, you in the gym what I, you doing I, I fluctuate okay I, I go up and down man like some people uh gain weight when, yeah. they, when they stress out i lose weight okay um so or in just whatever role okay. requires if i feel like the character should look thin or if i care like the character should look you know yeah then I'll adjust accordingly, but in my everyday life, I I, I go up and down. Some yeah. some some months I'm looking huge, and some months it's like, hey Wes, you alright? You, you, man, you, you looking you like, like a WWE it? wrestler right yeah, now, man. Well, I mean, actually, this is considered small to me, oh. but but mm -hmm. thank you hey. nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. All right, most definitely. So go ahead, and give them all your social media. That way, people can keep up with you, man. Mine's real simple. My Twitter and my Instagram are the same. My Facebook. I don't be on Facebook, so I don't really, I mean, but my Instagram is at W-E-S-L-E-Y-J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, Weston Jonathan, as well as my Twitter, so you can hit me there. Hey, I definitely got to say thank you for coming on the show. With that being said, now back to more Brink TV. Brink TV.